Alright, so what we got here is the MSI. MS-1759 So what you do is you take the top cover off There are one, two, three, four screws here And unscrew every screw you can see here to replace the jack Connect the wireless cables. Like that. Like that. Probably need to get this guy off. You can remove the CD ROM. Under the CD ROM, you will have three screws. Three. Those are smaller screws, so they don't go into anywhere else except here. Okay. All right. So we have the power cable right here. That goes over there. Okay. Let me see if we have screws under the keyboard. We probably should because the keyboard seems to be removable. The screws on the back. Right. Yeah, probably this screw right here. And that one. And then remove this guy. Remove this hand. Okay. We probably also have this screw right here. Alright, this one probably needs to do that. Okay. This one. Also, I need to disconnect this cable right here. Like that. And hopefully, that's it.
it doesn't go up. So, so. Right, well. Okay, so let's continue removing everything we can. This one too. All right, so let's slowly, slowly lift up the heat sinks out of the way. Ah, right there. Okay. So this is the guy. Screw right here. Okay. So. Nope, nothing here. Nothing here. And nothing there. Nothing here either. And this one seems to be empty too. Okay. So let's see. Cable. This is the speaker's cable. Usually there are screws from the back holding something down here. But in this case, it's probably the case. Uh, something should be in the back holding it down. Seems like somebody glued this thing to to here. The laptop was taken apart previously by somebody, so the keyboard might be glued in place. Might be. Might be is the keyboard. Yeah, there should be a screw in the back. 
I mean, usually there should be screws under the keyboard, so right now I will try to remove this top uh, portion right here. Maybe there are screws under it that prevent me from taking the keyboard off. Yeah, right there is the... Yep. So you have to remove this thing extremely careful. You see, it's like a strip. It's all glue, so sometimes it's really hard to glue everything back together. The cable right there got disconnected on the other side. Here you have to disconnect the cable right here, like that, like that, pull it out. Touchpad cable, flip, flip this hinge up, like that, so, like that, and remove the cable. Flip this thing upwards like that. Remove the cable. Here we got few screws. One, two, and maybe there is another screw under this uh, cover right here, but I will check in a second. Also, we got some cable right there that's taped to the board. Let's see if it's something useful. Yeah, basically we got the cable right here, which also needs to be disconnected. All right, so we disconnect that, remove that, remove that. Okay, so now it should all fall apart. Okay, so falling apart now. Huh? Yeah. Well, another screw someplace here, maybe. Let's pull it like that. Yeah, something's holding it down on this end, right there, someplace. And here. We don't have anything. I don't see a single screw. Maybe it's high hidden under the plastic cover. Yep, right there. So you will see it's hidden under the plastic cover. Yeah, we remove the screw. And it should come out. Try not to force anything out. Everything should fall apart. But in order to find out where exactly it's falling apart, you need to be a little forceful. Alright, so let's remove the cover, let's remove the jack. Alright, so seems like it's been melted in place. Okay, that's how the jack looks like. That's the broken jack, you see? It shouldn't be looking like that. Okay. So, now we need to find where the cable is at. So, we remove, remove the hinge for the monitor. So, like that, like that. Flip this guy over. Let's see. Should slide under there. Remove the tape. Gentle, don't break this cable right here, otherwise the monitor won't be showing you anything anytime soon. So, so yeah, that's basically the broken jack. I usually just the, replace the jack, but it turns out we have a jack and cable in stock, I think. Give me one second to look it up. Okay, here we got the jack and the cable in stock, 
So when I put it all back together, everything will be fine. Okay, so how long is it? Let's see. Is it long enough? That's the question. Yep. Seems like it's long enough. Let me see on this side. The connector is exactly the same. Yep. Everything seems to be in order. So now we just need to remove the cable. here. Alright, so let's I'm sure there is a tape or something in there in between. Yep, tape right there. And pliers, 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 pliers. Here pliers that don't break anything to remove the tape ok alright and it's same right here So let's remove this cable. Let's connect to the cable. guide this guy right there, let's connect this just in case ok and this cable just in case ok alright so let's open this up Lamborghini People spend a lot of money for systems like that. It's like a Mercedes Benz. The more it costs, the more you have to fix it. Okay, so let's see bottom, bottom up, put up, up. I think top. Them up, bottom up. Mm -hmm. All right. So my guess is bottom up. Bottom goes to the bottom. The top, the top of the jack goes to the bottom. So we guide it between those rails. First, we have to plug it in. All right. Plug it in correctly. Oh, you know what? Yeah. 
say like that. It's basically sideways like that, not top top down. So like that. Okay. Need to straighten it out to make sure it's straight. All right, seems straight. No, let's connect that hinge back in place. Okay, hinge has to go back. Okay. Hinge and hinge. Now what I like to do is to test the jack if it's actually conductor electricity. We get the voltmeter and test it. So, okay, all right, all right. So that's the minus, and that's the minus, and that's minus, and that's plus. All right. So everything seems to be. Okay, seems to be in place. Now let's put this guy back on. Make sure there is no metal shavings in here, otherwise it's going to be shorting this little area. I hope there is nothing there. That looks good. Okay. Just in case I'm going to put some tape on top of it, so it will stay in place. Like that. Wonderful. Let me connect this guy back. Oh, it's been connected just fine. Okay. Okay, everything seems to be fine here. Speaker is fine, another speaker sits fine. Okay, alright, so let's put some tape here like it was there before. Alright, so if you have this laptop, send it to us. We're gonna fix it for 100 bucks total. Includes everything the labor, the parts, and the shipping back to you. The information about our company is on powerjackrepair.net or powerjackrepair.org. Powerjackrepair.net or powerjackrepair.org. Okay, so we need to connect the bracket that's gonna keep it in place. Alright. Okay, so like that seems all right. We sell just the jacks on the website called laptopport.com. Laptop port is like P O R T. P like Peter or like Alan or like Robert T like Tom. Well, let's put the big cover back on. Okay, all down here. Let's put this on top. Make sure everything clamps together. Once everything clamped together, one clamp, clamp together. Okay, wonderful, super. Yep. Alrighty. So everything here clamped together. Now we connect the power button cable like that. We connect the touchpad cable 
like that. This might be touchpad, might be the lights on the, might be the lights on the front or the touchpad cable one or two. This might be the touchpad or the lights. So if you not connect one of those properly, one of two not gonna work. Either the touchpad not gonna work or the lights on the front might not work. Okay, so tape here and tape there. Okay, wonderful. Nice. So now we connect the uh, the screw, the screws back. Screw one, screw two. Alright, and remember that one screw that was right here, Keep hidden under all the tape, like that, okay, I'll get to it in a second. So, this cable right here is probably the light for the keyboard, so make sure you're not gonna damage it. You put it... Put it through like that, to the other side, connect the keyboard, alright, so what we do is just the power jacks, we do it all day, every day, for the last 10 years, we've done more power jack repairs than anyone else in the world, we do more power jack repairs than anyone else, and we've done more power jacks than anybody else in the world. We got jacks in stock for every single laptop make and model. We also do micro mini USB port replacements. We also do... I can't talk and do the work at the same time. So here, Make sure the cable is perfectly aligned before you're gonna clamp it in place. Otherwise, some keys gonna work, and some keys won't work if the cable is at an angle. All right, so this seems to be all right. Okay, make sure that cable is hanging downwards. Okay, so now we screw back the the keyboard. Okay. That cover I'm gonna glue back the last because uh, there is a chance that something is not working, so I have to take it apart again. And if I'm gonna glue it, I will glue it forever. So, okay. Seems to be alright. Okay. Connect the wireless cables guide them into place that goes here wait, this one goes here come on ay 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 Tucking the cable as far as I can. Okay. One screw right there before we're gonna put the heating on. And let's put this guy. Oh, hold on. 
you connect that cable just in case Okay, wonderful. Now this is all good. Let's go back to here. Alright. Uh three screws from this area. Weak. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Cable missing from the fan. Okay, so the compound seems to be a bit dry, so I'm just gonna add a bit more compound so that the system wouldn't overheat. So, we need to connect this cable up, bring this cable up, and this, bring this cable up as well. Okay. Alright, okay, okay. Wonderful. Let me screw in the screws. Tight, 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 and tight. Super. Okay. So, cable is put that way. This one is put this way. Great job. Yep. That's good. Let's put this guy back on that way. Like the fan. Okay. This might be too long. Let's connect the CD-ROM. Screw everything in place.
MSI. Thank you, MSI, for making horrible designs of laptops. Well, MSI is not the only company that makes a bad design, otherwise, we would not be in business. Okay, so a couple of screws went to the wrong places. This is one. And this is Okay, so like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, but before I'm gonna do anything else, I need to test it to make sure it's all powering up. If the edges are straight, everything's straight. Okay, let's see. Plug in the power supply. And the uh, adapter doesn't seem to be that good good of a shape. I don't know what happened here. Let's see if it works. Yeah. The hole itself is kind of tight, so I don't know. Let's see. Now the the power supply goes in, but it goes in at a slight angle, which is not that great for the new jack. And something probably stuck inside. So. Okay, let's see. Okay. Alright, so we get the system working and lighting up. That's a good sign. Then the keyboard is working, so touch uh, the hard drive is not here, so I cannot test anything else. But since it works, I could shut it down and remove the cable. It's 19.5 uh, volts, 6.1 amp, 6.15 amps. You could probably order it on uh, online if your power supply is crappy. I got a whole bunch of them here to substitute. But anyways, 100 bucks fixes it and fixes it for good. You can send it to us by UPS ground, that's the cheapest way. Because the system is big and heavy, postal service is gonna charge you a lot more. So try to stay away from postal service. Alright, so this looks good. This is all looks really good. Alright, so the only thing left is to put the cover on and the hard drive. Thanks so much for watching. PowerJackRepair.net or PowerJackRepair.org.